Hi, I'm Stuart, I'm Uja's friend. I'm at Sydney as well, and I'm a third year engineer here at Cambridge. Part of the answer is probably just like the prestige and like the name factor when you apply for jobs. It's kind of a flex on your CV. Also, like the city itself looks amazing. And so it's somewhere that I really wanted to live. When I came on the open day, like looking around and everything, it's just a beautiful place to live. Okay, so basically like the difference between engineering at Cambridge and other unis is the first two years are completely general. That can be a really good thing if you're not sure what you want to do yet, because it gives you an opportunity to like explore all the different areas and see which ones you're best at and you like most. But at the same time, if you already know what you want to do when you're set on it, then it can be a bit annoying having to do all these areas that you don't really want to do and you're not interested in. So like think carefully about what area of engineering you want to go into and whether you're already set on that. Because if you are, then maybe another course might be better for you. But if you're not, then I think it's the perfect course. I'm in my third year, so I'm specialising this year. And I picked modules in mainly mechanical engineering and also some information engineering. If you don't know what information engineering is, I didn't before I started either. It's kind of like the data science side of things. It's got a lot of interesting stuff in it, like machine learning, algorithms. Um, so yeah, I've specialised in that along with mechanical. Mainly just because in the first two years, those are the things that I enjoyed most and were best at. And so yeah, that's the great thing about being general in the first two years is you get to explore what you like the most. And you can be happy knowing that you chose the things you like the most and you didn't choose the wrong thing too early. Throughout the first three years, it's been the same in terms of contact hours. And there's 10 lectures a week, each one's one hour. And then like two or three supervisions a week, each one being one hour again. And then have labs on top of that, which can vary because sometimes you've got projects. And so you'll have labs like every day for a couple of weeks. But yeah, usually it probably takes up about, I don't know, four to six hours a week on labs. And then you also have examples papers, which is like the stuff you learn in lectures, you'll then have to answer questions about and bring those with you to the supervision. So you spend like pretty much all your, all the time outside of class that you're studying is working on examples papers. And you have about two or three a week and each one is like five hours or something. So you end up with like 20 contact hours and then plus doing examples papers outside of study time or outside of lessons. What I usually do is after a lecture, I'll go home and do the do the example paper questions from that lecture in the next like couple of days so that it's fresh in my memory and then I can like just lock that information in my brain better. There's a lot of content it's hard to stay on top of but I think doing the work soon after the lectures is the best way to lock it in your brain. A lot of the time it's very theoretical and you get like quite focused on the details but when you like zoom out and look at the bigger picture and what you're learning can be used for then that's a really good motivation and yeah. I do enjoy it. Probably similar to most people, I was kind of worried about the workload, being way too much, not having a chance to do sports activities, social life. And there's definitely times where the workload kind of takes over and you kind of have to spend a couple of days like just in your room, like focusing on your work, but your like social life isn't completely gone. Um, there's so many activities, so many societies that you can join, so many great people. And so just because you're at Cambridge doesn't mean that you will have to spend all your time working. If you make the right friends, then you can have a great time. Choosing which college to apply to was pretty tough because like you're kind of flooded with choice. There's more than 30 colleges and like having never been here before, I had no idea which one to pick. So it can seem pretty daunting at first. Um, but I think in the end, I realized that I should just pick one that suited what I want. I wanted to be somewhere in the centre of Cambridge with quite a lot of engineering fellows and so I just looked up which ones had the most engineering fellows and then chose the central ones. I applied to Emma but they didn't want me so then Sydney called me and it ended up great. Don't be too worried about your, your choice of college because no matter where you end up you're going to love it. Quite often you'll get pulled anyway so it doesn't matter too much and pretty much everyone here says that they're happiest where they ended up because like every college is amazing they're all filled with great people don't be too worried about your interview because they're kind of like very difficult to prepare for because you don't know what's coming there's no point like going through and revising all your like a-level course material because it's they're pretty much designed to ask you stuff that you've never seen before and if you go in and they ask you about something that you've never never seen before don't be worried they're expecting you not to know about it so just make sure to ask lots of questions so they know what you're thinking and always think out loud so they know where you're at it and they can help you. So I'd want to be somewhere 
somewhere central for sure, but not too like academically intensive. Like yeah. I don't think I would want to be at one of the top in the Tompkins table. I feel like there's a lot of competitiveness there. I'd probably choose Emma, which is the one I applied to. I think Jesus would be great because they've got really good sports facilities and they're right in the centre. And I'd probably put Sydney up there as well. If I could apply again, then I'd probably think about Sydney more seriously. So I didn't really know about it that much because it's quite a small college, but being right next to Sainsbury's and just the, the vibe of being in a small college where everyone knows everyone, it's quite nice. It would have to be May week after first year. Um, just that like complete feel of relaxation after the stress of exams is just kind of amazing. And getting to spend like a week in a beautiful city like Cambridge with all your mates, not having to worry about work, going to these huge parties, these balls, is kind of amazing. So just the whole experience of May week. Um, what do you think of me? <laughs> I'll kiss you right now and show you. <laughs> 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 Perfect.